So non-traditional loans are not like they used to be in 2007, 2006, before we had the crash, right? Like it, it, it's all, um, that was subprime mm -hmm. and they were pretty reckless. You know, people were just out there giving money to anyone. You know, we actually had one of our old LOs in today. He took us out to lunch because we did his loan for his family. And um, pretty difficult self-employed guy by mm -hmm. all means to get done. Um, and he said when he bought his first house, you know, he had no business buying a house yet. You know, he stated got approved. Income. It was stated income, stated assets, state your hope, and we just give you a loan. Wow. So um, that garbage is gone, thank God. Yeah. So that's going to keep our housing economy from crashing. But um, there's been some resurgent, right, stuff that's come back. So, you know, you're looking at our non-traditional stuff. Yeah. We call it non-QM, right, non-qualified mortgage. So all that means is um, it's not fitting into the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA, USDA box, or even Jumbo in some cases. Mm -hmm. So they've opened up the ability now. They always have to have an ability to repay. So the ability to repay will be different depending on the customer. And what that means is basically if the lender sees that this person has the ability to repay, so the stated is gone, then they will offer them finance. So who are these uh, mysterious lenders that are funding these type of loans? Yeah, so I mean, people will be shocked, right, when they hear it, right? So um, let's take Flagstar Bank, you know, or wow. Citizens Bank, or actually Citizens isn't doing it, but Flagstar does something like this. United Wholesale Mortgage, the largest lender in the country, they do this. Wow. Rocket Mortgage does them. And as a broker, I sell to everyone. So yeah, you don't care. it doesn't, um, you come work with someone like us and you get all of the lenders at once because we're going to kind mm. of find the right fit for you and, and go out and shop you out to all the different people. Um, but it's become very mainstream um, because there is a real there's a real void in, in the marketplace right now. And yeah, I mean, I think we've got a reputation. If you look us up online, um, our reviews are very strong, right? People yeah. like working with us. Um, 4.98 yep. out of five stars, and that's 286 reviews. That's, that's an old flyer. So it's over 400 now, and it's over 4.9. So That's crazy. It, that's like one person that... Yeah, give you a sour note. Absolutely, just one. Yeah, to it's, make it's two. I think last time I checked. Batting average. Um, and I know both deals, which is kind of a crazy thing when you, you think probably about it. I disagree with it. Um, no, we wrote the response. I encourage people to go read it. Yeah, go gotcha. read it and see it, and then read every other review that person's done because usually someone's got an axe to grind. Trend. They're going to grind their axes with everyone, right. and they don't say thank you to many. You never need to have your credit pulled to get a quote. Mm -hmm. So anyone that tells you that they're trying to sneak you into a loan, mm -hmm. that they're they're not looking out for your best interest. You should be able to get a quote on a soft pull only. Soft pull doesn't affect your score. It will give the lender an accurate depiction of your credit score, at least one of them, if not all of them. Um, and it gives an accurate depiction of your debt load so they can make sure that they're getting you into the right product. Makes sense. If anyone is going to do a hard credit inquiry to just tell you what their rate is, just run away. Like I would just say, just go somewhere else. They're, they're not looking at your best interest, right? There's a connotation that brokers are more expensive. Yeah. So what do you say to that? You know, yeah. taking this into account that you're doing traditional and non-traditional yeah. loans. Yeah. So I, I think what I do, which is a little different, and thank God for technology, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I actually take my customers behind the scenes and show them my broker price mm. so they can understand it. And then I encourage them to shop at the same time. I said, just go for it. You know, and, and, take it. and Exactly. Take this and run with it. We'll see you in about two days. So what ends up happening is your rate, it always higher at the lender mm. with no points than it is with us because they got to cover all of it's their costs. In with all exactly. Stuff, right? exactly. Because what happens is with that file after it closes, and everyone complains about the mortgage getting sold, it's exactly what's going to happen. That lender is going to take that file and now sell it or securitize it, you should say, like with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, mm -hmm. the two biggest investors in the country, right? They're going to pay the lender a fee based on the interest rate that they provided. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same way the broker gets paid. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same way. The difference is, instead of that lender having to pay their sales rep a bloated commission, the marketing people, the compliance people, and all those people along the way, mm -hmm. they're just paying me. And I'm asking for less than what they have to spend to get their own. 